So, Jim Carrey's How the Grinch Stole Christmas got a brand new 4K Steelbook release this week, and, uh, well, obviously I, I picked it up. So let's get into it. Hello, friends, and welcome back to the Brock Upside, a place for those who live talking by movies. If you can follow one of those categories, hit that subscribe button down below. Son of a bitch. But uh, yeah, Halloween's been over for uh, not even a week and here we are talking about Christmas movies. But you know what, when one of your all-time favorite holiday movies gets a cool new Steelbook release, you kind of want to talk about it in the middle of November. So I'm going to break down this review into these three different categories right here. So if there's one particular area you want me to talk about, then just go check out that particular one if you want to. But anyway... Let's get going. So as far as picture quality goes, the movie looks really, really good in 4K. Now, quick disclaimer, this is not the first time this movie has been released to 4K. It first came out to 4K back in 2017, so this is not like a brand new transfer or anything. It's basically just a repackaged version with this really sexy steel book. But this is the first time I ever got to see the movie in 4K. And I gotta say, um... I'm impressed. I don't know about you guys, but just seeing Jim Carrey's grinchy face in 4K with all the pixels, it's a... Uh, it's quite good. Especially considering this is one of those movies I watched as a kid on VHS, then finally to DVD, and then the Blu-ray, so now I've got the 4K, so every new edition of this movie on a new physical format is gonna look a lot better compared to the last one, so no real complaints about the image quality, I'm gonna give that a gold unboxing machete. And before we go any further, if you guys want to see some more Blu-ray reviews like this, I have over 100 on this channel, so check out this playlist uh, wherever it be up here in the info cards, and uh, yeah, but you know, let's let's keep talking about the, the this thing now, shall we? And as far as bonus content goes, there is absolutely nothing new compared to other previous Blu-ray and the 4K releases. Now, if you look right here on the cover, it says this is a 20th anniversary edition, and while yes, it is the 20th anniversary of this movie, there's nothing new as far as bonus content goes, no new featurettes, no new documentaries, which, you know, compared to some of the other 4K anniversary, you know, releases we've talked about this year, that's a bit of a bummer and one of my pet peeves about one of these kind of new releases. But, you know, you still got the good bonus content from previous Blu-ray releases like the commentaries, the featurettes, as well as Faith Hill's music video for Where Are You Christmas. Where are you, Christmas? Why can't I find you? So even though I'm fully aware this is just a fancy repackaged version of the 4K we got previously, when you're gonna go and slap 20th Anniversary Edition on the front of your steelbook, I kind of expect a little bit more than just the same old shit. So with that in mind, I'm gonna give the bonus content a silver unboxing machete. And finally, as far as the box art is concerned, it's pretty much the only real reason to pick this up as opposed to like the regular 4K. Because, well, look at it. It's a really nice looking steelbook. You got this really simple design with the Grinch holding the ornament. You got the logo. These are the kind of steelbooks I really like, the more simplified ones like this. And then you turn around to the back, you got the Grinch and Max. And then if we just open it up like so... Then on the inside, you've got a shot of Whoville, which looks really, really nice. So overall, this is a nice looking, very Christmassy steelbook, and I think it does look a lot better than the standard 4K you could buy that's just kind of a repeat of this sort of design. Not quite, but still, I do like this one a lot better, and it's only a couple dollars more than the regular one. So, as far as the box art goes, I'm gonna give the Grinch 4K steelbook a gold unboxing machete. So overall, if you already have How the Grinch Stole Christmas in 4K, there's Probably not a whole lot of reason to pick up the Steelbook unless you just really want the Steelbook. But, you know, for me, this is my first time owning the 4K, so getting to see it in 4K for the first time was really, really cool. Got a really nice Steelbook. Again, would have greatly preferred they would have, you know, given us some kind of new bonus content, you know, considering it is a 20th anniversary after all. So in total, I'm gonna give this a silver unboxing machete. And of course, I am gonna give away my digital code for this movie, so if you want to potentially win this super Christmassy code in November, a month before we're supposed to actually get hyped about Christmas, then comment down below what your favorite adaptation of The Grinch is. The Jim Carrey, the cartoon, the Benedict Cumberbatch one, whatever it is, comment down below and why, and within about uh, 24 hours or so, I'm gonna pick a winner. Anywho, 
So if you want to see some more videos from me like this, you can check out this playlist right over here. And if you want to see what YouTube recommends you watching me next, you can check out that video right down there. And of course, subscribe if you live talking by movies. And we'll see you on the break. Oopsie.